Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to look at some issues you might run into when viewing your 3D warehouse models in AR and how to fix them. So, um, the AR viewing in 3D warehouse is awesome. You get a model, you upload it up there, and you can, when you look at it, get a QR code, scan it with your phone or tablet, and then take that into wherever, your house, whatever, and actually see models like you're standing there with them life-size. It's a cool thing. We've done videos on how to do that process. We're not going to get into that. What I, wanted, what I wanted to take a look at is um, where are issues that might come up where I look at a model, looks fine in SketchUp, but when I get it into AR, it looks not right. It happens, and that's what we're going to take a look at is what those issues might be and how to fix them. Let's go. All right, so here's the model I have uploaded. This is on 3D Warehouse right now. So all I did was I clicked on View in AR and then uh, just plopped it down to my office and took a look at it. So let me just run through and show you what I saw here. Here we go, here's the model, here's the piano. Over here we have a face me of a little, little puppy and Donovan, the creator, and obviously that pink shouldn't be there. And I got some thoughts on face me components in models like this that we'll come back to. But then I can also see I've got some invisible faces. Look at this little spot right here. And then I have gray keys and white keys. A couple of those black keys are see-through. That's not right. And then the back of this is supposed to have kind of a lifted up spot behind where the sheet music is. So let's take a look at what's going on in the model that might cause these issues. So we'll start with that. We'll go into SketchUp. This is the model. This is the model I uploaded. And let's just go through in that same same order. So first thing we had was dog down here had uh, pink and purple striped feet. And that obviously is not what's going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click in here, uh, go into the component, and then again, and then one more time to get into the faces in the dog. And what I want to look at is the material that was used for the white portion here. Every place that was white in this in this section of the model and this and this component showed up as pink and purple stripes. So I'm going to bring up my entity info and I'm just going to pick on this face and I can see what I have here is the default surface material. So this is the default material. This is the white on one side, gray on the other. Um, and I don't know why, but for some reason that is showing up as pink and purple stripes. And that's not what we want. Well, maybe. I mean, I would think if you wanted pink and purple stripes, you'd just model pink and purple stripes. So I'm gonna assume it's not what we want. So simple solution here is to replace this material with just normal white. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna bring up my paint bucket tool. I'm going to grab the white color and I'm gonna come in here, not just fill, but I'm gonna hold down the, I gotta make sure I get the right one. Yeah, option, shift, option. I want to all, wait, no all matching paint. So I'm gonna hold down shift, click right here, and that should, all my white sections, now if I pick on them, let me do that again. Paint bucket, hold down shift, click on this one, and then now each of these white sections should be, yeah, that pure white instead of the default material. See that, the difference between this is the default material on the back and this is the white material on the front. So that's an issue. It's only an issue that will come up if you have white surfaces. So we got that fixed. So we can click out of here. And I said I had a, a thought on face me's in general. So face me components in SketchUp are cool because there's logic in the component that says always face the front towards the camera. So as I spin this around, the face me always faces me. That's not true in AR. In AR, it will show up as a infinitely thin cutout that just sits there. So as you spin around in space, you can actually turn to the side and make it invisible because it has no thickness. So personally, I'm not a huge fan of, of this, but if you want characters in there, that's fine. I would personally, if I really had to have a human being in here, see the other reason when I'm looking at a file in AR, I'm looking at it at one-to-one -one scale. So I don't need a figure in here to tell me what is human scale because I'm human scale. So when I look at a model, you know, I'm seeing it. So that's just something to consider. Not a big deal, not a problem, but uh, maybe personal preference more than anything else. But I would take uh, scale figures, 2D scale figures out of my model before I send them up for AR viewing. All right. The other issues we had was the white keys we had. Oh, oh, oh hold up. 
I got a section right here with no paint on it. So let's grab paint bucket again. I don't actually need the colors here. In this case, I can just sample here and then I'll fill that in like that. There we go. That's good. And then the other problem was some of our keys were gray, some of them. So if I pick on these surfaces and see that one has a default material, this one is pure white, pure white, default material, white, white, default material. So what I want to do is come in with my paint bucket tool. Uh, I still have that paint, that white paint loaded and get this one that I know. So this first one was the default material. So if I come in here and deselect it, if I grab my paint bucket and I hit down shift, that says fill anything inside this component that has this material with the materials in the bucket. So when I click that, now this should be pure white and all the keys should be white. I have nothing that is the default material anymore. And I can go down and check every one, but I don't, I don't feel the need to do that. All right, moving on. If you remember, we looked in here and this was like hollow. This, this face didn't exist in my, my model. That's not right. So it's hard to, the issue that comes up, the reason I see stuff like that, the reason you see that clear face is because the face is backwards. The AR viewer renders front faces only. Back faces look invisible. So that means this is probably facing the wrong way. The quick and easy way to find out if that's the case is to come up here to view, go to face style and turn on monochrome. Monochrome just says, show me the front and back faces of everything. Front shows up as white, back shows up as gray. Sure enough, this one's not right. I can right click and I can say reverse faces. If I look over here, I had a couple other keys that were see-through there. Those five right there for some reason are also transparent because they are only back faces. So I'm gonna select them. I accidentally selected too much. I'm gonna deselect that. Did I get the back too? Yep, ooh, look, that's backwards also. I didn't even look at the back. So let's right click and say reverse faces. There we go. And one last check now is I wanna to go to view, face style, and hop back to shaded because there is a chance, these were the same on the front and the back, but this one was actually white. So we'll go sample that and refill that. There we go. So that should fix all of that. The other thing I mentioned was I was missing a detail. Uh, see how I have these lines drawn right here to kind of indicate, I don't know, a recess or a pushed up area. Edges don't render in the AR viewer. All you're going to see are faces. So doing things like drawing edges and expecting them to show up, even if you assign materials to them, isn't going to happen. So what I'm going to want to do is come in here and maybe pull this up or possibly push this back down, something like that to create a cavity there so I can actually see that geometry. If you ever want to just check and see what this is going to look like in AR, you can always go into your styles, go to edit and turn off profiles and edges, and that's going to give you a better idea of what you'll see. So you can see there, that's kind of what I want to see is I want to see that material popping up. That gives me that little bit of depth on this big blank piece. That's perfect. That's what I want there. Um, I can turn it back on to continue modeling for now. But those are all the issues. So I had a pink footed puppy, invisible edge here, invisible keys, gray keys, and then this wasn't here. So if that's all good, I should be able to take this file, share it back up to 3D Warehouse, then view it in AR again. So let's uh, let's hop over and do just that thing right now. All right, so here we are. Puppy looks looks good. Got white feet there. That's gonna work much better than before. Up on our piano, not only do we have that nice curve, white keys, none of my keys are see-through, and there's that little recess, that little pop-out. Hop on recess or opposites, but there you go. You see it, there's that geometry that I wanted to see. Looking good, piano. All right, so there we go. That model worked much better. It's little stuff like that that can drive you a little bit crazy, especially if you're starting to use the AR viewer for the first time. You're getting in there and stuff's not showing up right. Um, this is really attention to detail modeling. Exterior faces facing out is something you really should always do. Back faces, more and more renders are getting to be okay with back faces and not having issues with rendering them like front faces, but there are a handful and unfortunately AR is one of those spots that hasn't necessarily caught up with modern renderers. So you do want to be careful of back faces. 
Um, I don't know why the default material sometimes looks weird and sometimes doesn't, but I have found the best solution is to just make sure you fill everything with the color you actually want and not rely on that default material. Uh, but other than that, remembering that lines don't show up, edges don't show up, you have to actually create geometry because lines don't exist in the real world. It's like reality, right? If I draw a line from here to here, there's nothing there. If I draw four lines and connect it with a piece of paper, then I have a thing there. I don't know if that explains faces and edges right, but you get the idea. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here. You'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment. Have you played with the air view or have you run into any of these issues? Do you have other issues you've seen issues to? Issues you've seen? Issues you've struggled with? That's what I was shooting for. Are there other issues you've struggled with that you haven't found an answer for or have and you want to share them with us? Or do you have another idea that you think would make a good video on our channel? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more. I want to show you something you want to see. Thank you.